going to talk about media and what kind of cards we suggest to use with this camera. So what do you suggest, sir? Well, normally with cameras, it's a two uh, schools of thought. Mm -hmm. You have more cards or higher gigs. Right. That's all going to actually translate to price and availability. Not all cards are created equal. Some of them write faster. Some of them are regulars or extremes right. or super pros. Right. So there is a list that's online that you can find for the proper cards. But in just general practice, we like to use a 32 gig card mm -hmm. and something that has at least 60 megabits a second. Because every time that you're writing, these, these DSLRs don't write as fast as, let's say, an Alexa or a RAD or something mm -hmm. like that. So you actually want something that's not too slow, but then also not too expensive. So if you go higher than 32, right. and you can have a great card, but if something damages it, you crush it, mm -hmm. it's in your pocket, some lint gets on it, you don't have a backup, or you want to buy a bunch of them. So if you bought a, you know, four, eight gigs, you just know that you're going to re-rotate those cards if you're doing long takes. Right. Also, the bigger the card, when you're going to print it to the computer, it's going to take you longer to, right. to process that and to get that back out to set. So you never want to go out with one card, you know, between, you know, four cards, mm -hmm. and they could be between 16s and 32s if you'd like. Right. And that gives you enough when you're doing video versus stills, you can do eight gigs. Right, so like with these cameras and with other digital formats as well, I've had the experience of on set someone having like a hard drive that's going directly to a hard drive and something happens to that hard drive the whole day. Like they recorded the entire day and it died and all of their, all of their footage went away. So and with cards, same thing, they went to a 128 or a 240 and they just kept recording, kept recording. Something happened to that card, they lost five, six hours plus thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, because of that, so I think using a 32 gig for those reasons, faster downloads, uh, quicker turnarounds, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Also, this the ones we chose were the sand disc, and the, right. the along that comes with it is actually hard rescue. So I've had it on different sets where actually we lost video that was not on the card. The computer didn't see it, but launching the, the app that you mm -hmm. can get with that actually recovered my files. That happens like with Red as well, that have Red Dead and other things right. like that that have it. So hopefully whatever format you get has uh, has that kind of program it, in it. But scan disk is what we recommend as well. Yeah, it's good also to know that as you're filming that you have some type of an idea list of what you've shot so that when your DIT person or whoever is doing that for you will catch when something's not there. Exactly. Like we had a whole driving scene and it was gone and they weren't around for that driving scene, so it's only me at the end when I'm looking at the editor going, where are those takes? And he's like, I don't know, this is what I have. So I had to go back. Fortunately, we had not formatted the card, right. and we recovered the information. There you go. So hope that helps you guys, and we'll see you in the next lesson.